Hey everybody and welcome back to the Pike Homestead. My name is Adam. Thank you for uh, coming and spending your time with us today. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue doing some tweaks and upgrades in the barn today. Uh, so one thing I want to do, I've wanted to do for a while, is get uh, get a timer set up in the back half of the barn to turn the lights on and off automatically for the animals. Just make it a little easier, get a little bit more, you know, leeway on uh, when I have to get back there for you know, to give the chickens and goats some light in the morning, especially on cold days where, we, where we're not opening up the barn. Uh, as well as allow us to give them enough light, you know, to be comfortable and happy and all that. I want, uh, want to do that because there are some days right now with our, our schedule between Caroline's work schedule and while well, taking care of the kids and stuff where it's, it's fairly variable for them. So we want to see if we can make that a little better. So here I am in the barn and... Uh, yeah, this cats. I just wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to uh, Dean and Tony from uh, Lada Industries for helping us find some hay because uh, in Alberta right now there is actually a hay, sh hay shortage and uh, they're the guys who um, had their cows on our fields a few months ago. Um, and I sent them a message saying, you know, like our, our normal supplier and everything for getting hay square hay bales had uh, had run out. So I asked them if they had any or if they knew anybody who wanted to get rid of who had some for sale. And uh, they came through big time. They came and just dropped some that uh, they had that the deer had gotten into. I don't care that they're broken open. And they're nice green, you know, alfalfa bales that, uh, that the goats are loving. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to them and say, uh, thanks a lot, guys. You've, uh, you've really helped us out this year. All right, and the goats are very happy. <laughs> uh, first step on, uh, on the job here is a switch. So I've got a, uh, a timer switch here that I'm going to put right in there. So, uh, yeah, I'll just... I guess set it to a uh, time lapse and get working. Well, that was uh, certainly disappointing. I uh, tried wiring it in a couple of different ways, um, and neither way would really work. It, like I get uh, partial power to one of the fixtures, and that was the best I could get with that. So that's uh, that's really disappointing. It's a, it's a switch that's rated to be able to handle the, the power load and everything like that, and it's just apparently not passing it over properly or something. So <clears throat> that is very frustrating. Crazy goats! Oh, we're full of energy and happy and having fun today. Really, Daisy? Duke. 